Now to a news for Jack's I team investigation. One of Florida's top educators is demanding transparency from Governor DeSantis's office. It follows the rejection of more than 50 math textbooks alleged to contain prohibited topics like critical race theory and social emotional learning. Now it is still unclear precisely what was considered unacceptable in these unpublished books because the education commissioner says the publishing companies are private. The News for Jack's I team spoke with the Florida Education Association president today who feels that the rejection of these math books is all part of Governor DeSantis's much bigger political agenda. Because what the governor is looking for is not what's best for kids. It's what's best for his political ambition. And he wants to be able to say, we held the line here in the state of Florida and forced these textbook companies to make a change. Florida so Education day, Association President Ron Andrew Sparr is questioning Governor Ron DeSantis's motives in the recent rejection of more than 50 math textbooks that contain prohibited topics, including critical race theory. Educators say they can't release the questionable content to the public because of copyright issues. The Florida Education Commissioner was asked about the book approval process today during a news conference in Central Florida. We have reviewers, and these reviewers are top-notch math experts from around the state who look at this and say, this is Common Core, we've already ab abolished that. that, that's rejected. This is, you know, these other things like critical race theory. Once they're rejected, the book publisher has the opportunity. They can say, okay, fine, we'll take all that out. And then, you know, we approve the book and we go through that process or they can file litigation. In a news release late Friday, the Education Department announced it disapproved of what it said was a record number of math textbooks, 54 out of 134 books. The books were submitted to the state of Florida through various publishers for students in kindergarten through fifth grade. Here's what we believe is probably going to happen. These textbook companies are big companies, right? They're very powerful companies. They give a lot of political dollars to candidates on both sides of the aisle. Wouldn't even be surprised if they didn't give money to the governor uh, here in the state of Florida. And, and so uh, these textbook companies have a lot of influence. And I think the governor at some point is going to tell them, look, change one line in the textbook, make one change, and we'll consider it to have met the requirement, and then we'll approve it. Spar says the Florida Education Association still doesn't know the qualifications of the group that rejected the books. What also remains unclear is how the prohibited topics were presented in a mathematic equation. We don't know if it might say, you know, in a word problem, for example, in math, that uh, Maria is going to Abuela's house and they're going to make a recipe and, and they're going to use three quarters of a cup of water and one quarter of a cup of oil. So how much is that total? You know, we don't know what the objection is because they haven't released that. The News Project I team reached out to all of the publishers today whose books were rejected for comment, but we have not received one response. Governor DeSantis said today the math books that were rejected were an attempt to, quote, indoctrinate students. We put a list of the books on newsforjacks.com.